just gotta pee, y'all. Have to pee so bad. Me and Noel been at it before Twitter names. So this day was like, the egg retrieval day was really, really like, everything had its time oriented. We had to arrive early in the morning. Um, wifey had to be sed had to, had to sedated, right? Mm -hmm. Put to sleep or whatever? Mm -hmm. Put to sleep. So that was pretty intense and I didn't actually see the whole process. I was kind of in the waiting room. But once me going to her after it was over, she looked like she was pretty much like out of it. So I know you can probably explain that part. Yeah, I was felt. completely out of it when I came um, out of the surgery. It went really smooth. It's really easy. You get put to sleep. The hardest part is probably the anesthesia. Um, if you're not good with the needle part, uh, well, if you're doing IVF, you should be used to needles by now. But um, having to go under anesthesia and then you're waking up out of the anesthesia, you're kind of distorted for a little bit. But it was pretty smooth other than that. Kind of like what he was saying, um, waking up really, we had to be there at 7 a.m. And we were about an hour away from the facility. So we had to... Um, Get there really early it was dark outside you guys will see clips from that as well just our whole experience that morning and kind of just taking everything in before the surgery a little nervous um, but trying to give everything to god at the end of the day good morning guys so today is egg retrieval day we just got to our clinic and we are about 30 minutes early so we're just chilling in the car right now kind of preparing my mind for the treatment or procedure. Um, so yeah, we'll see how today goes. It should all go smooth, quickly, in and out procedure. And then I've kind of taken today to kind of rest. <clears throat> taken today to rest. And um, tomorrow I took off work so that I can rest tomorrow as well. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to say thank you, Lord, for just um, waking us up this morning, Lord. I ask that you continue to let your grace and mercy rain down upon us, Lord, on this process that we're going through, Lord. Um, we thank you, Lord, no matter what the outcome is, Lord, because you give us the mercy and the grace, Lord, to live each and every day, Lord. I ask, Lord, that you just allow us to just um, be at peace, Lord, um, to be as comfortable as possible, Lord, to be as patient as possible, Lord. And, um, and just to be in the moment, Lord, to just do things your way, Lord. I ask, Lord, that you just give Noel the strength and the courage to go through with the process, Lord. And just, um, again, Lord, just give you thanks to just living to see another day, Lord. We give you all the honor and the grace and the mercy, Lord, over our lives. We love you. We praise you. And we look forward to whatever outcome that's on us. Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Just got out. Once you do the egg retrieval, you do have to um, wait, wait a mm -hmm. couple days before you can do a, um, a fresh embryo transfer is what it's called. Um, so once you do your retrieval, you have to see how many eggs from that um, survive to then become an embryo. So we had to wait several days. The next day after the first egg retrieval, you have the opportunity to get a phone call and they tell you if any of your eggs survived or if any of them died. Um, and then you kind of move forward day to day to day. And then hopefully by, I think by day three, you might get your final count. And then day five is when you do the fresh embryo transfer. And that process was really, really eye opening because you start off with this astronomical number of eggs. And then each day, it's like a dwindles down, dwindles down or whatnot. For some people, for, yeah. you know, for some people, um, it does dwindle down. For other people, they might retrieve 30 eggs and keep all 30 eggs, or 50 eggs and keep all 50 eggs. And those 50 eggs can turn into embryos, mm -hmm. and then you have 50 embryos. Um, but for us, that wasn't our case. Um, but they, I think we might have like maybe like 16 or 12 or something. That was it, 12, 16? I think we retrieved 18. 18. I think we retrieved 18, 18. eggs. 
What's up you guys? Today is day one post egg retrieval. I'm feeling really good. I just woke up. Now I'm gonna have some breakfast, take some more medicine, and wait to hear from the clinic in regards to our embryos and how many we have and how many we might have lost overnight. So um, I will update you guys as soon as I hear something. But anyway, it sounds like it's not so bad. Let me go over the lab, um, okay. the findings of what we often can see when there's endometriosis in the ovary, and there was endometriosis inside both ovaries, I'll point out. Okay. What it does is some of the eggs are not normal, um, and so I would say almost half of your eggs were not normal, but that's still okay because we had so many. Okay. Now, the embryos that look normal this morning, we see five. Five, okay. And that's, yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's a good number. Um, now, next, you're going to hear from me on Wednesday because we want to see, out of those five, how many are developing normally. Now, in a woman at your age, we should see either all five or four out of five, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, and so that's the report. If there are anything that's going on, but I'll be calling you back on Wednesday. If anything happens that's of concern before then, of course, to give me a call. Okay, sounds good. And quick question. So the original number that, that we got was 18? That's correct. Okay. But about half of those were not normal. Okay. And right now we have five that are continuously mm -hmm. developed. Okay. Correct. And that's a good number. Okay, sounds good. Well, I look forward to hearing from you on Wednesday. That's right. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Well, that dropped quite a bit from 18 eggs. Now we have five embryos. And hopefully a bulk of those will last. We'll see. We'll wait throughout the week and see which ones continue to grow and we'll kind of go from there. Hey guys, so today is day two after the egg retrieval and I'm back to work. Um, unfortunately, I have to, well not unfortunately, but I have to take the progesterone, progesterone, suppositories and with that um, so I'm in pharmaceutical sales and so I drive around all day and there aren't any like bathrooms like if I have to use the bathroom I have to jump out and go to like a Target or something like that to use the bathroom and I have to do these progest Oh my gosh, people. I have to do the suppositories and I don't know if CVS was supposed to give me an applicator or not, but I don't have an applicator. So if you know anything about suppositories, I don't have an applicator, put two and two together. And I have to now find a public restroom to do this. And it's COVID and the thought of that is just like stressing me out. So, keep your girl in prayer. Because I'm like, this is why women should just, like, if you're going through stuff like this, you should just be able to take the whole week off work. Because yesterday when I was at home, I was able to do it in the comforts of my own home. But now today I have to work and I have to probably do it in a Target bathroom. And the thought of that, it's just like, ugh. ugh. But I'll update you guys. I gotta go because my team is blowing me up. Okay guys, I just pulled up to Target. Fun. Um, so I'm gonna grab my progesterone. And we're gonna head on in. So I have to take the reason why I have to make a midday stop is because I am dosed at three of these a day. So one in the morning, 
one midday and one in the evening before bed. So when I'm out working, it makes it extremely inconvenient to do my midday insertion. Um, so let's go, let's go take it. All right, we're back in the car now and I have to lay down for 15 minutes. And so now I'm gonna just lay down in my car for a few minutes and then get back to work. <sighs> All this for a little baby. Hope this is laying down enough. Doesn't feel like it, but that's the best I can do right now. All right, guys. Or at any time. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. So, again, now the big thing is we'll be doing your transfer. Uh, today is one on Friday. Okay. And you all should be thinking, do you want one or do you want two? Okay. Because that's going to be the choice. Okay, good to know. And then um, when it comes to that, and is there then, a way to see yeah. like how the quality of them so that we can pick the best yes. quality or rating? Yes. Yes, but that's, I do want you to understand that what you're saying is what takes place, but that's not testing them. There's uh -huh. a difference is what I'm simply saying. Okay. Good to know. Testing them is the genetic testing, but what you're saying, grading them is what we do. That's looking, what that means is to look at them under a microscope, is to grade them. Uh -huh. That's different from testing, okay. is all I'm saying. Right? Okay. You'll select either one or two. Okay. All righty. Very good. All righty. Thank you so much, Dr. Butler. All right. Take care. All righty. You too. Bye bye. So as you just heard, we, I couldn't turn the camera on fast enough, but we actually got our, our egg retrieval was on Sunday. And then on Monday we found out that, um, let me back up. Our egg retrieval was on Sunday and on Sunday we were told that we got 18 eggs. And then on Monday we found out that out of those 18 eggs, only five of them were fertilized and turned into embryos today we got a call that out of those five all five of them are doing well and growing plus there was an additional three that look like they're starting to grow and and do well but you know because they were slower we do have to keep in mind that those might not you know continue to grow so but out of the five we have all five so that's exciting. I'm super excited about that. And looks like our egg retrieval will be on Friday. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like our transfer day is going to be on Friday. And we have some embryos to transfer. So now me and hubby just have to decide if we're going to do one or two. I'm still thinking that we're going to do one. Um, especially, you know, because these other four of them will be probably frozen if this doesn't work this first time we would have four more attempts to do with just these eggs that we have so I'm super excited guys let's get into the fresh embryo transfer so since we did the egg retrieval a few days prior to this we now know that we have five embryos we go into the weekend for our fresh embryo transfer when we arrive that morning we're able to decide if we want to um, put in one or two out of those five embryos, we went with inserting one, one. embryo at that time. Um, with that, we uh, it was a pretty simple process. It really, uh, they don't have to put you to sleep or anything like that. It's a really quick in and out procedure, um, probably within less than five minutes, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, and you're able to watch the embryo kind of go in or be inserted, I should say. So it's really cool. You are able to bring your partner in if you would like to and um, kind of go from there. Good morning guys. Today is our transfer day. Um, we just pulled up to the doctor's office so now we're about to head in. Um, I'm excited. I twist up my hair a little bit. That's why I have these little 
bantu knots in here but wanted to be able to not have to worry about my hair for a couple of days and I'm drinking my water as you guys can see I have my huge jug of water here and we're about to go see what this day entails the fresh embryo transfer there is a 10-day waiting period uh, well for our clinic it was a 10-day waiting period it might be shorter or longer depending on your clinic mm -hmm. and um, you have to wait in order to come back to take a pregnancy test or have your blood drawn for um, your HCG levels to see if you are pregnant um, we waited our 10 days and uh, well actually we waited about seven days mm -hmm. to be honest and on that seventh day, I decided I was going to take a pregnancy test at home. Woo, we are so excited. <laughs> um, so that's what I did. I went ahead and I took a pregnancy test. Uh, unfortunately, I did lose that footage, so I don't have that here to show you. But I can explain to you that um, we did take a pregnancy test early. And on the pregnancy test, there were two lines, but one of the lines were extremely faint. faint. Yeah. Um, and after watching a million and one videos on YouTube, I knew that on the seventh day that that line should have been um, more bold than what it was. And so right away, you know, he's saying, well, it is there, it is faint. I knew in my heart that something wasn't right, that either uh, I was pregnant and I was losing the pregnancy or I was never pregnant at all. Um, so we went ahead the following Monday, which was our 10 day, and we went in for our blood testing for our HDG levels. And um, that's when I got the phone call that I was in fact having a chemical pregnancy. So that is when you are pregnant, but you um, lose the baby shortly thereafter. So you're not, you know, you're pregnant probably for a day or two or maybe even less. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, I was calling to let you know we have your results back from today okay. <clears throat> and we did the beta HCG level. It's we have a positive. It's just really, really on the low side. Yeah. To repeat this on Wednesday, so we can make a call to see if it's really something going on, or maybe a biochemical pregnancy. Okay. So the I level today was was six point four. Have you started bleeding or anything? Yeah, I started bleeding yesterday. That's what I was gonna say. I think my period came. Is it a heavy, heavy bleed? No, it's or not. It's just, it's just starting off? Yeah. Okay. All right, but <clears throat> hold on. Let me let him know. He still may want to repeat it. He said you had a history of ectopic, ectopic pregnancy before? No, I haven't. Was, no pregnancy, no history of pregnancy in the tube? No. Okay, that's a good thing. So hold on a second, okay? Okay. Okay. After we found out that we were having the chemical pregnancy, the clinic that we were at and the doctor that we used, he moved really fast. So he said that we could come right back in within the next couple of days or yep. so to kind of continue the process. And that's what we decided to do. We decided to go right back in for a second round and um, just keep the journey going. So we had to, I believe I had to do a couple of more shots and then prepare for what would be a frozen embryo transfer because we still had three embryos left that were frozen. So the same exact process again, um, we went in for the embryo transfer. However, this time they were frozen, so a day or so before they have kept the thaw the uh, embryos. And then um, you kind of have the same process of inserting the embryo and you can watch the embryo go in and and that same thing. So we're back around to the 10 day waiting period. 
um, to see if this frozen embryo transfer and this one we decided to do two instead of one um, since the first time it didn't work at all. And also, um, not to cut you off, the doctor made it, he made it as smooth as possible. He made her feel very comfortable. Everything she was experiencing wasn't anything out of the ordinary. So he just made the whole entire process super easy and just had our confidence going through the roof that it was indeed going to work. So that also played a major part in it as well. Yes. Um, so you'll see that we did our 10 day waiting period again. Um, and I did do another seven day <laughs> home pregnancy. Something about waiting the 10 days, I just couldn't do it. And it always fell on the weekend. So I just felt more comfortable like I'm at home. I don't need any surprises like getting a phone call while I'm at work or something like that. So um, I did a I went ahead and did a um, at home pregnancy test, and that is when we discovered that we were pregnant. Um, we found out on December seventeenth, two thousand and twenty-one, that we were pregnant. Um, our HCG levels were really really high, and that was exciting. Um, and we didn't know if we were gonna have one or if it was two. I was thinking two. Yeah, we, <laughs> we thought it was gonna be two because the. HCV levels were so high and we did insert two this time, um, but we were thankfully only pregnant with one at the time because I can only <laughs> handle one, um, so. IVF journey and um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you need any videos on the cost of the IVF journey or any specific questions um, we can do a Q&A if you would like us to on the IVF journey uh, we would love to do that for you guys um, but we thank you we thank you thank you we have tons of more videos coming this year we have a lot to share with you now that we have our baby um, anything else Oh. God is good. God is good. <laughs> Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, join the fam. Talk your trash. Talk your trash, yeah. but not too much right. trash. <laughs> <laughs> and we will be back. Thank you. Bye, guys.